good evening and sorry I'm a few couple of minutes late managed to turn my phone off when I tried to put it onto the phone holder um, so welcome my name is Helen Jennings I'm a stamping up demonstrator based here in the UK and on a Thursday evening we like to try and go live and do a little bit of crafting now once a month um, I'm on a bit of a tight schedule this is that evening but I've already been live once this morning with our back to basics which was running a day late this week so um, you've probably already heard enough of me this week as it is um, so we'll get on and we'll do some crafting um, along with this let it snow sweet um, gorgeous sweet really sort of you know traditional snowman-y Christmassy um, characters a little bit of a quirky addition with some of the papers and things um, and the suite itself is a really big one because you've got two stamp sets you've got a punch and a die and an embossing folder as well as some paper some glimmer paper some ribbon and an embellishment kit so lots of goodies to explore in this suite so let's have a quick look at them before we start doing a bit of crafting with them so let's move that um, catalogue to one side so the main um, snowman stamp set is this snowman season stamp set here and this little character here coordinates with um, the punch if we can get the punch so that you can't and it's not shining too much in the light so you've got your punch and the hat um, on the stamp set and the twiggy arms and a little carrot nose um, are also elements in that punch so that's the coordinating punch and say so this is the snowman that you can punch out there's a couple of different snowmen in there as well you've got a to and from which is always really useful if you're creating your tags for Christmas a few little snowflakey type um, stamps and some nice greetings in a lovely font and some quite nice big greetings as well so you've got a Merry Christmas let it snow and hoping this season builds heartwarming memories so that's a really nice little um, pair so you can have those as a bundle um, and then you get the tiny keepsake stamp set that goes with the um, mini curvy keepsake box and we made one of these up on Monday and I'll show you that in a minute so you get your curvy keep mini curvy keepsake die along with some of the dies for tags and those sorts of things so that's another really lovely bundle and then the stamp set that goes with that you can use these to put patterns on the side of your curvy keep box or indeed to use them um, for patterns on panels for your cards and things and then you've got some nice little sentiments that will fit into those labels so let's pop those to one side for a minute um, you've got an embossing folder which is not going to show up very well on there I'm just wondering if that helps it to see a little bit with a bit of something dark underneath it so it, it's called um, the knitwear um, I've closed my catalogue up now um, the winter knit 3d embossing folder so it's one of our thicker embossing folders and it gives you that sort of look of a knitted piece of fabric um, which is lovely if you're wanting to do something a little bit snuggly for the winter season you've got this really gorgeous curly ribbon here that is sort of almost like wool like in texture really soft um, the ends sort of fray beautifully you can make the most of that uh, really nice ribbon you've got your embellishment box that includes these lovely little um, epoxy arms and carrots and coal eyes some glimmery washi tape in there some felt hats and mittens and scarves and some little snowballs so a really cute little set of embellishments in a lovely box um, and then the papers you do get there is a pack of red glimmer paper that's really useful for um, holly berries and just a really nice Christmassy feel that would make some lovely curvy boxes wouldn't it and then you've got the gorgeous snowmen paper so little snowmen with snow falling snow on the back you can tell that this one's been loved these are these lovely little um, snowmen snowmen and snow lady creatures that have got glitter on them and then you've got red and white stripe on the back of that one some more glittery snowmen with a red spot some glittery hats 
with this sort of snow um, paper on the back. These gorgeous multicolored trees. So sort of flirty flamingo and um, coastal cabana trees. And on the back of that one is another red stripe with a little coastal cabana stripe going through it. And then you've got these nice mittens and snowflakes on there with that nice coastal cabana stripe on the back of there. So some lovely paper. So lots of really gorgeous goodies. Um, we're going to need that in a little while. That's not part of the bundle. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly a couple of cards. Um, Postman this morning bought two cards. And one of them is this beautiful card that um, has come all the way from Lisa Harden in um, the States. I'm loving her um, cards with the um, pearlized um, finish on there. Um, with a lovely little llama notelet in there saying happy world card making day so i actually saw lisa creating these on her facebook live so it's really lovely to receive one through the post so that's using that first frost paper really beautiful and the other card that i received was um, a card addressed to mike and i from jackie to say thank you for a lovely day at the retreat on saturday so thank you jackie that was really lovely to receive that in the post this morning um yeah so uh, she had a lovely day. We've got two dates booked for next year, um, but you'll want to get in there quickly because if everybody that came this time is to come back, then we need, I think we've pretty well had a full house on Saturday. So um, it will be first come, first served, and there is a limited number of spaces. Okay, so on Monday, we created this little card was our case from the catalogue. Always had, the hat's gone a bit skew if. Um, so this is the card that we cased from the catalogue with that little snowman that um, we punched out. And we used our stamper artist to um, position him. And then we used the, made this little curvy box as well. Um, we used some of those elements um, out of that little um, kit um, to make the eyes and the nose and the smiley mouth and some of that lovely curly ribbon as a bow on the top so he's very cute and these little boxes are just so sweet just right for sitting on your table with a little sweet in or something or a candle if you wanted something not edible and this little snowman is one that is currently part of the county tour so and um, this is one of the cards that um, the people that have been coming along to those classes and there's one more class to go um, at Morsley um, on the not next Tuesday but the following Tuesday um, so there will be one more option to come and make this little card if you come and join us on one of those classes so a few little snowman cards there right let me dig this little tray out and we will create our first little card and I've actually got my dog punch in there but um, that is for good reason we might not use it because I have already punched some little bits out but um, I would have left it there so that you can see what I used to create my card so I thought for this one that we would make we'd make good use of those beautiful papers and that we would make it up into a five by seven inch card so slightly bigger than the standard cards that we make um, but a really nice size and you can get envelopes very easily to fit a five by seven card um, obviously if you have an old envelope maker that's unfortunately now retired um, you would be able to make an envelope to fit one of these yourself um, but I thought we'd say we'd use some of this really lovely paper. So we've got lots of elements out of this paper. So I've cut a piece of this sort of snowy background. And that's measuring six and three quarters inches long by three inches wide. And then I've cut out a strip with these lovely trees with all this glitter on. Um, and that one is measuring two inches by six and three quarters. So if we were to put them sort of directly side by side, they would measure five inches, but I've given myself a little bit so that I can overlap it and play around with it slightly um, 
to even that up on the card front so I've just given that bit a little bit of overlap there and then this is that same tree paper and I've just cut a strip that's half an inch wide by six and three quarters and we're going to lay that over the top just there so this let's stick these bits on this is going to be quite a nice quick and easy card hopefully we'll put a bit of Tombow on the back there and lay that our card base is made from a piece of real red card so in order to make up our five by seven card base i cut my piece of real red card so it was seven inches wide by ten inches long and then scored at five inches that down on there like that and then we'll take our little strip of paper so if, if you're joining me either if you're joining me live or if you're coming in at a later date do let me know what you have been up to today it's good to check in on everybody So what I've done, so with that paper that has all these sort of snowmen in, I have actually fussy cut three of the snowmen. So we've got the little snowman that looks as if he's looking up to the sky and dancing with glee. We have this little snowman who's snuggled in under his scarf, just peeping out. And we have this little snow, I think she's a snow lady, with her sort of like twiggy um, bunches in her hair so we're going to place those so they're scattered around the front of this card so I think I'm going to stick them down just because they're paper and so that will make them a little bit more stable if they're actually stuck to the card front rather than on dimensionals let's put our little twiggy lady over on this side then we'll have jumping with glee snowman so he's up here a little bit There they are. Now I've also got here a tiny little bird that I've cut out of the paper. So I will sit her, him or her, on our little snow lady's hand, I think. There we go, just there. Now, I'm going to grab my stamp set and I'm going to grab this Merry Christmas just here. Pop that up there slightly, find myself a little bit of a little bit of white card and a block. Let's have um, we'll go for this one here, I think. And what I want to do with this Merry Christmas is because these are photopolymer stamps, it does mean that I can shape them a little bit. Yep, I think about like that. And then I'm going to grab the just looking for my ink pad. Oh, 
where have you gone ink pad already got it out I know and it's not in that pile because I don't need it for that pile when I had it five minutes ago aha there we are I buried it underneath the uh, buried it underneath the stamp set so let's bring this round again it's pinged in the time that we took to find the stamp pad stay and we're going to tap 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 that ink on there and then stamp it round like that and then Trim that up so it's and we will add that in above this little snowman. He almost looks as if he's he's juggling that sign. Let's find some little dimensionals and we'll lift that up onto some dimensionals. Evening, Sarah. So let's add that little curvy Merry Christmas in there. And then I have just, using this little heart that's on this dog punch, I've just um, punched out some red glitter hearts. I need to decide where I'm going to put those. Well, I quite like the idea of having one each side. And shall we give him one? That's quite cute, isn't it? We'll give him a little glittery heart as well. <clears throat> I'm going to put that dimensional on that edge so that it can stick to the paper but tuck over the side of the end of the banner. And the same on this one. And coming over this end of the banner and then we'll put a final dimensional on the back of this little heart and we'll give that little snowman a red glittery heart. So there we are, three little snowmen on their pretty, so we've got the trees at the background, this sort of snowy scene at the bottom, three cute little glittery snowmen with their red glittery hearts and a nice curvy Merry Christmas where we've taken the stamp and curved it round because that's something we can do with photopolymer stamps that we can't do with rubber stamps. So there's one reason why you might want to photopolymer stamp as opposed to a rubber one so let's pop that away so that's our first little um card and obviously i'd fussy cut all those snowmen before i started to make it a bit quicker 
and because I've put it on a coastal cabana background I'm not particularly worried that so I, I didn't worry about getting too closely around those little twiggy hands and things I was happy to leave them with a little bit of green in there as well because it just blends into the background so there's a five by seven inch um, snowman card and we can put a, um, an insert in that at some point and either add in another um, snowman could cut out another snowman or a piece of a snowman and um, could add in a couple of perhaps, perhaps put a couple of these trees in instead something like that on that insert but we could use our papers again so that's one way of using your papers not just as a background but actually cutting out those little characters from your paper and using those as toppers. I have got some sequins here as well. We could have added in some of the little snowy sequins, but I think it's perhaps glittery enough with the glitter in the trees and in the tree paper and the glitter on the snowman. Um, the sequins might possibly be a step too far. <coughs> so that's a card using a bit of our red glimmer paper, some of those um, designer series papers from that bundle, from that suite. Um, so our next card, let's see if we can find all our bits and pieces. We've used both the snowman um, stamp set and the stamp set that goes with the tiny keepsake stamp set that goes with the um, mini curvy keepsake boxes. So let's have a bit of a play with this. So it's using these some of these elements out of the Curvy Keepsake box set, but we're going to use them to create a card. So we're actually going to be creating a five inch square card. So I've already, here's one I prepared earlier. So I've obviously cut a piece of thick wisp white so that it's 10 inches long, five inches wide, and again, scored at five inches to make a five by five card. And then this little piece of um, seaside spray here is um, four and a half inches by four and a half inches. So I've already got on a block the stripey stamp from this set. So this little stripey panel is already on a block. I've got this little snowman down here is already on a block. We've got Let It Snow. Um, in here I've got some little pieces that I've already stamped and die cut, so I'll share those with you in a minute. Um, I've got another little snowy scene just there. And on this block I've got some more snowflakes. So those, and um, we've got some stamping blends ready to go in there. So let's make a start and see where this card takes us. Now somewhere... <coughs> I have got some panels that I have cut. So this is a little panel and it measures um, 5.2 centimetres by 7.5 centimetres. So I'm actually going to take my embossing buddy and give that a little bit of a wipe over. Now this is some shimmery white card so it's already got a little bit of sparkle on there. I'm going to have a slurp of my tea. And then I am going to take my Versamark ink pad and ink up this stamp with Versamark. Now because I have cut this piece of card so that it fits beautifully onto the top of this stamp, rather than turning my block up and putting my stamp on my block, I'm going to actually lay my piece of card on the top there and I'm going to give that a good rub so it's having good contact with that ink on that stamp and this is a technique I would often use with the bigger um, background stamps as well so let's lift that off and I can just about see stripes on there it won't show up very well on camera and then I've got some silver embossing powder here. Uh, let's 
let's take our, our mat and let's sprinkle on some silver embossing powder. tiny bit there where it's I'm going to lay that down so I'm not getting finger prints on it let me just put the lid on my silver embossing powder so that we don't knock that flying and have powder everywhere and let's find my heat gun and let's heat this up I'm actually just starting to get a waft. I set my oven to come on so that my dinner is cooked ready for when I've finished. And I'm just getting a waft of cooking dinner coming through. It smells quite good. Homemade chicken Kievs tonight. So what have you all been eating today? Inspire me with your menus. There we go. So we've got a nice silver stripy background. Really pretty. So it's not huge, it's just a small little panel, but really pretty. And you can imagine that if I'd have done that um, on this side panel on one of these boxes, they'd have looked really pretty as well. So we have a nice silvery panel. Now the other thing that I've cut is I have cut one of these little um, frames and I've cut that from um, again a piece of shimmery white um, so we are actually going to stamp our snowman using some memento ink so let's ink him up and we're going to stamp him so he comes right to one end of this little panel like that. And then we will take our beautiful shiny new trimmer, which I am still loving. And it has now been announced that these trimmers will be available to customers from the 1st of November. So if you are waiting on a trimmer, I know a couple of you are, you'll be able to get them from the 1st of November. Right, so we have our little snowman stamped onto that little bit of panel and I've just trimmed it off so it's now a partial panel and that actually sits just beautifully, same width, onto that panel. So you get your snowman and you get your bit of silver poking out to one side. So let's give him a little bit of a colouring in. So the colours that I have got for my snowman, I've got a little bit of light smoky slate. Um, I've got some light seaside spray. I don't think I've actually used the dark seaside spray. I have got a little bit of light petal pink, some light pumpkin pie and some soft suede. So the soft suede I'm just going to use to go over these twiggy arms just to give those a bit of colour. Pumpkin pie, obviously, I'm going to use to give him a beautiful carrot nose. The smoky slate I've used just to sort of where he's got these shadows on his feet and the side of his legs, under his arms there. Wherever those shadowy bits are, and I've also used it to colour in these rocks down the bottom here put a bit of shadow under his feet so I've done that in um, smoky slate the light petal pink just giving him a touch of pink cheeks you don't want your snowman to be too rosy cheeks because he might melt um, and then the light seaside spray I've coloured in the sort of snowflakey blobs of snow just here 
and then I've just gone round the edge of the snowman and that just helps him to pop out a little bit from the, uh, the background. Come up the top round his nose. And round his hands and arms. So there he is, that just helps him to pop out a little bit from that background. <coughs> Here in my basket I've also got the soft seaside spray ink pad and a bit of sponge and I'm just going to sponge round the edge just to give that a, a little bit of colour and help it to pop up from our silver background Hello Wendy. Oh, southern fried chicken and sweet potato fries. That sounds nice. So a bit of, we, we've got um, chicken Kievs and um, wedges. So, yep. But I do like sweet potato fries. Yummy. Right, so on the other little bit of card that I've just chopped off the end. Here we are. Um, I actually um, heat embossed in silver the Let It Snow greeting. Now I've just noticed that with this little um, banner my card was a little bit short so we've, we've lost our point so I'm going to pinch the here's one I did earlier. So here's one I did earlier, it's got a nice point on it so I've just stamped the Let It Snow in Versamark, heat embossed it with silver and again I've in inked round the edge of that one. And the other, here's what I've, ones I've made earlier that I've got in here, these are the little snowflake. Um, image from here. There we are. You've got this curvy from the tiny keepsake um, stamp set. You've got like this little snowflake, and there is a die in with the um, keepsake um, dies that cuts those out. So I have cut out three of those little silver embossed snowflakes already, so that you don't have to sit and watch me doing that. You've seen me do some heat embossing, you don't need to watch me do it all. So we have our little snowman, just coloured in with a touch of blends, just to give him a bit of colour. We've got a nice stripy background, we've got our Let It Snow banner, so that's these two together, chopped up to uh, two separate pieces. Right, now here I've got this piece of card, and I'm going to take this big snowflake, um, multi-snowflake stamp, and I'm going to randomly stamp all over this background to make a snowflakey background. And I'm taking it off the edges, that's on purpose because then it looks like you've cut it from a, a bigger piece. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my embossing buddy again and I'm going to rub that over the top here just to dry off any damp ink because I'm going to take this other little sort of snowflakey stamp and again I'm going to take my Versamark and I'm going to infill some gaps with this little stamp Right, I'm going to sprinkle some silver embossing powder on there now and see how well covered that is and if we need to add in any more.
Right, let's have a little look at that. Mm -mm. I think we can possibly put in something down there and something there. That's a little bit of something across there and a tiny bit in there. Let's have a look. I've got silver embossing powder everywhere now. I've scattered that all over the place. Oh, that was mainly around the edges, wasn't it? Is there anything up? No. Right, so we've got a smattering of those little snowflakes on there now. So again, we'll take our heat gun. I think I'll hang on to it there. These heat guns get very hot, I'm burning my fingers. Right, that one, that's all turned. Yep, so we've now got a really pretty little background paper with snowflakes and a smattering of silver snow. So let's bring in our card base. And we're going to have this so that it sort of sits there. And this so it comes down just here. And then somewhere, yes, we've got some of our seaside spray and silver um, metallic ribbon. So I think it might be quite nice to have that going over there but under there. Right, okay, so let us snip that off. And I think what we'll do is we'll stick on our silver panel. like that and then we'll take our ribbon and some tear and tape and we will wrap that around here and stick it down and wrap the other end around here and stick it down and then we will stick that entire panel on the front there so that's got quite a wide border around it because your card is five inches square and your blue panel is four and a half so that's a half inch Border. Apologies that I'm wobbling you all over the place. And I think we'll raise up our Let It Snow with some dimensionals. And have that sitting about there. And then move that out the way. Let's have the little panel gone. There you are. I had a feeling I must be looking at it somewhere. Let's put that up on some dimensionals as well.
take the wax off of there. Hi Angie, thank you for sharing. I'm getting people sharing what they're having for their tea, but of course it'll be breakfast for you. So let us know if you've had something exciting for breakfast. There we are, we're going to raise up that little snowman on there. And then we're going to take our three little die cut silvery snowflakes. And we'll have those scattered round and about. I do think those little snowflakes are just calling out for some little rhinestones. So let's give them some. Come here, little rhinestone. One. Three. To put the lid on my embossing powder before that goes flying. So there we have one of our little, little snowmen. Let's move some of these bits out of the way so you can see what we've been up to move out away some of this <laughs> embossing powder so we have this lovely little background on here so we've stamped these snowflakes in the background plus these are the little snowflakes that we've embossed in silver we've got a little um, snowman on one end of our banner and the let it snow um, sentiment on the other end of our banner those snowflakes that come from that um, cur the mini curvy keepsake box dies and then this panel in the background here, that's that stamp from the Tiny Keepsake box stamp set, the coordinating stamp set, and we've heat embossed that with silver as well. So a nice blue and silver, that's quite nice sort of traditional colours to go for when you're making snow many sort of cards. So we've had that card, and then just to be completely different, we had that one nice real red card with Coastal Cabana, and our glittery snowmen that we cut out of that paper and we curved that sentiment to make a nice curvy Merry Christmas and we used our dog builder punch to um, punch those hearts for some red for some red glimmer paper and we even gave this little chap here a nice red glimmery heart so those are our two cards that we've created today to go along with our little box that we made on Monday and our little card that we cased from the catalogue on Monday and then also, of course, I've shared with you this card that is currently doing the rounds um, on my county tour classes, my evening classes. And that's a bit of um, heat embossing resist in the background there. So I've heat embossed those snowflakes in white and then sponged over the top in blue so that they all pop out of the background with that resist technique. So a gorgeous little collection of snow many cards if that is such a word um, we haven't quite got snow although i did see somewhere it's saying that um, somewhere in the uk may get its first snow this weekend i'm sure that's not as dramatic as it sounds it's probably the highlands of scotland or something which probably isn't too unusual um, but it may be on its way who knows um, it will come if it comes won't it so I hope you've enjoyed all our little snowmen cards. We'll be back again on Monday when we'll be looking at a completely different set of products. I will be posting these little projects um, on my blog. So hopefully that will be up to go live in the morning. Um, I've got a class tomorrow where we're going to be playing with the uh, Friends Like You bundle. 
so that's good fun looking forward to that so a bit of pigment sprinkles and a bit of clean and simple and all sorts of things going on there so that will be good fun and for those of you that um know that we were planning a 24-hour craft-a-thon at the beginning of november um due to circumstances beyond anybody's control the charity that i'm um, working with um raising money for with that 24-hour craft thon um the golden years charity are actually moving into a new unit currently and are, are due to sort of open it up to the public very soon so they're all working incredibly hard to try and get that ready for its opening so having had a conversation this week we've decided that we didn't want this craft-a-thon to be a burden we want it to be something that we can really enjoy and something that we can celebrate so instead of being a 24-hour craft-a-thon going from 6 p.m on the 1st of November to 6 p.m. on the 2nd November. We're going to have a craft day on the Saturday so people can still come and join us and craft along and eat cake and drink tea and all of those sorts of things. Um, but the craft, 24 hour craft thon is not going away. We're going to bring it back in the new year. We haven't yet decided on a date. Um, tentatively, we're thinking around about sort of in time for valentine's possibly so that you can come and make your valentine's cards um so that will be coming it will be coming in the new year so it, it's not gone away it's just been postponed to um to allow me to get over this silly cold and to allow those lovely people that are working so hard to get that unit up and running to be able to get that all finished um, without all of them collapsing in a complete and utter heap so that when their new unit is open then we'll have our 24-hour craft-a-thon in their new unit you can come along and see it and celebrate with us so um, watch this space as I say do come and craft with us for the day on the 2nd of November but watch this space for a new date for the 24-hour sponsored craft-a-thon in the new year um, hi Carol um, so so say that is that will be coming up soon so class tomorrow um, afternoon with the friends like you bundle um, come and make the um, snowman card at the last of that county tour um, on the first Tuesday in November which let me have a little look at my calendar is the uh, the fifth so it's actually bonfire night so come and make Christmas cards on bonfire night, uh, 5th of November. We shall be at Morsley for the final one of um, this particular round of cards. And if you would like to get your hands on any of these gorgeous snowmen, whether it's the stamp set, whether it's the dies, or whether you want to make yourself some really beautiful little curvy keepsake boxes, then um, I shall be putting the links up when I edit this video. Um, when we have finished so thank you for joining me this evening thank you for crafting along thank you for the inspiration for tea um, Sarah and um, I'll be back with you all on Monday morning